Hi guys, it's Gabriel over at uh, Techtopia. I wanted to give you guys the real review on the OnePlus 10 Pro after utilizing it for just roughly over three weeks. As you can see, look at how vibrant and beautiful this screen is. So I don't have really any major complaints, but I'll start off by just kind of showing a lot of people complained about the um, deck, uh, OnePlus deck, I think they call it. So and I'll show you how you can avoid the mishaps of uh, when you go to get your regular settings. If you want to pull the deck or whatever they call it down, you just grab up by your battery and pull down there. And it'll give you, you know, you can pin certain apps or whatever that is there. So at the end of the day, you know, anywhere else on the screen, we'll just pull the standard settings feature down. And since we're in here, let's just go over some personalizations. You're in the personalization area. You can go through the wallpapers and they have the live wall wallpapers and things like that and of course i'm utilizing the one that's in the first position but they have several of them with the animations and all of them are pretty cool i actually like this dark color the best and i'll go ahead and apply that to my screen and then we'll go back uh one of the other things that you know you can go in here and mess with your uh, font size and display settings and all that i just like really left it on the OnePlus default, which is fine for me. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, this is another cool feature, the fingerprint animation, and I like the first one better than any of the others myself. But if you wanna see how they do, you just kinda of press on them and it goes through them. All of them are really cool. I like that one as well. But I'm gonna put it back on the default one to start. Okay, and of course, if you go to the, um, display and brightness and if you go you know I like to keep mine in dark mode and other people will do the same you can set that thing to auto brightness which will save you on your battery usage and things like that uh, nature tone is supposed to be you know automatically adjust you know the color temperature according to that and get lighting in the room or whatever and there's a feature called eye comfort which is really cool as well of course I haven't used that one because I love the beautiful display up to 120 you know where it's uh, there's a, you know, on the video enhancer, I don't use the image sharpener, the video color enhancer, and all that is really cool when you utilize uh, video recording on this device. So, and then you have the bright HDR video mode as well. So, when comparing this camera to other cell phones, make sure you go in and enable some of these things, you know, because some of those devices may have all of these, you know, uh, advanced features enabled by default, and we don't know that, so... When you do that comparison, just make sure that you do go in here and turn these on because OnePlus's uh, goal is to, you know, increase your battery life as much as possible. So what I was going to get to on this video, I like to go to under screen resolution and I have put mine in quad HD mode, which when you do that, it will tell you, hey, this is going to may affect your battery, longevity of your battery. So just be mindful of that. So, again, I do like um, the deck, and we'll go to, um, I think it's under system or special special features here. Yeah, okay, they call it the OnePlus shelf, and that was the item I showed you in the beginning. And, uh, of course, there's work-life balance and things like that. Um, you can piddle with the gestures and motions. I only have a few, you know, turned on, you know, well, a couple. And that would be the swipe down with three fingers to take a screenshot and raise the phone to wake. You can also you know, auto switch to receiver. You can flip to mute icons, things like that. And of course, I love this phone because also it's just like, you know, an iPhone and a few other phones. They have this little slider on the back side that will allow you to mute the phone. You can just, you see that it says vibrate only, or if you click it again, it'll be totally silent. But I'm gonna take it back to ring right now because that's what I like to do. So, and I do like this other special feature here under users and accounts. You can add multiple users, um, you know, like here, you know, I have um, have myself, of course, as the administrator, but I was going to set my wife up a second account on this phone. Of course, you can do guests. So, that's cool as well. So, if you don't know anything would like tips and support you just go there and go to tips and support and you can learn how to use your gestures and things like that and also just kind of do common questions to OnePlus itself because you can create your own account uh, and communicate that way 
course about the device you can see that um, the device name is OnePlus 10 Pro 5G I'll probably relabel that later uh, storage 61 gigs used out of the 128 unfortunately in the US all they have available is the 128 gigabyte version um, and I have 8 gigs but I did that RAM plus feature to add uh, 3 extra gigs and you can you know increase it even more than that and I recent update well, took it to Android version 12 there was a uh, system update uh, I think a few days ago and you know it makes the phone run really really well so also for people who have this question about this device working on AT&T and getting 5G I will go in here and what I want to do is I'm going to um, turn my Wi-Fi off and as you can see up in the upper right hand corner you see how it says 5G and I'm getting four bars I've not experienced any delay delays in receiving text messages and or phone calls which I heard people saying that and I don't mean to sound rude when I say this but uh, I think a lot of people here in the United States we're so used to just utilizing an Apple or an Android well an Apple or a Samsung device that we don't really have anything good to say about other uh, unlock devices that are out there and I for one I am a Samsung guy I have had the Apple and the Apple ecosystem and I don't want to take anything away from those devices but honestly guys I'm tired of paying you know 12 14 18 two thousand dollars for a device when I can get this one actually I paid just over just over 800 bucks for this phone this is unlocked and so it's not locked to a carrier but this phone the one plus ten Pro 5G I saw recently has dropped down to $699 so uh, I would give this a phone a major major go for someone to purchase it so we'll go over to you know I'll go into more settings later but I think one of the things I'd like to show you guys is some of the photos that I took so excuse this photo this is of my dog I'll zoom in and you guys can see this is with no extra features turned on on the camera I think it's pretty pretty good uh, but more so, what I want you guys to see, we'll go to some pictures. This is just some random pictures that I took, and I'll zoom in on so you can see the details of the plants and stuff. Some random photos that I took. That's not meant to be a beautiful photo right there. That's about uh, some property where it was some issues. Now, here are some photos that I took during the day with the camera, and it's really, really bright. And here you can see, I think the camera kind of try to uh, blur out some things in the background if you look at a distance I wasn't trying to take the neighbor's house I was just kind of taking a photo of my front yard and it was extra bright outside so I just want to compare these to these pit photos so here's what I was taking a picture of this is kind of in my uh, flower bed area and as you can see I'm gonna zoom in that's a pretty good photo in my opinion you know and the bricks on my house are truly that color so I won't say that they're washed out or anything like that because I had a team of guys come in and build a flower bed around there and that that's just how it is so be mindful that that's during the day oh, oh sorry I'm gonna zoom in on this this is a, a rose bush that I have and it's kinda got a unique red color so I don't wanna say that that red on the larger rose here is washed out because it is that weird color like that so all of those photos were during the day so what I did was I went and I wanted to take some photos at night time so just so you guys can see how I did and that's with no special features on no auto uh, flash turned on or anything like that this is without flash of course that's my barbecue pit because here in Texas you know we all like our barbecue Of course, this is that same photo at nighttime, and I want to zoom in on it so you guys can kind of see the detail. No flash or anything on the item. So, of course, that's just a photo of me standing out in the driveway of my pickup truck. So, at the end of the day, I think the photos are pretty nice. And if you want to see the details of the time, I'll let you see the time. That was at 8:30 p.m. after 8 30 p.m. so I thought it was pretty good and uh, this is another thing I took my dogs out for a walk and let me rotate this so you can kind of really see that video in 
landscape mode the way I really took the photo. And I'll let you guys be the judge of it because I was standing right near some street lights and they aren't LEDs. Those are pretty yellow lights by default. I think those are high pressure sodiums or something. I'm not sure. But it's just the standard street lights in the neighborhood. And I was kind of focusing on the three um, airplanes or whatever it was in the sky there because I thought it was unusual for them all to be bunched up like that. And of course I was walking my two dogs so they were kind of getting impatient. So. Weird, huh? Are they like following? I don't know. Because that? that one's only white. Well, I have weird dogs. I don't want to have green and white. So that was just a little sample. So another video that I did it was around a facility again. Let me see if I can find it right here where you know you can see the stabilization but um, a facility that we monitor make sure that they kind of affect the shop because it's you know close to automobiles you hear on the street and I was moving pretty fast and I'll slow down here and it's trying to get away from all the noise Give you a rough idea how the stabilization works on the device. Oh well, yeah, guys, if you um, guys are in the CBD or anything like that, I do have a business for uh, CBD, and that's called Serenity CBD. So you can go to serenity.cbd.net. And just for that FYI, I'll go ahead and probably put a discount coupon code or something that if anybody comes from the web to it, they can get a discount if you do that type of thing. And of course, it's the non THC version, but we do carry the one with THC in case you guys are interested in that. And that's the legal amount that's allowed by uh, law. I think here in the state of Texas it could be higher in other states, but here I have to go by the rules and laws of Texas. So this, again, this is just a video for you guys to kind of get an idea of what the video recording is like on this device. And on none of those photos did I use the um, 50 megapixel you know, zoom feature on the, camera, on the camera itself, so just be mindful of that. I'm going to let this play out so you guys can again see the um, recording capabilities of the device. That, I'm pressing the end of the video because I just did that for somebody. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.